it's our very last interview of the night at the Global Citizen Festival Mandela 100 event happening at FNB Stadium. And it is only fitting that it is Ndaba Mandela, the grandson of the incredible Matiba. Buti, I want to know from you, it is a super special day celebrating your grandfather's legacy. In terms of emotions and you just watching what is happening today, what is you, what are you feeling rather and why is it so special to you? Um, today I have seen some of the most amazing, uh, you know, uh, dancers, musicians, mm -hmm. just doing their thing, you know, and bringing the, the, the full energy, you know, the livelihood mm. uh, to, to this audience. Um, and for me it's very special, it's very humbling um, to see the amount of love and admiration that people have for the old man, uh, the respect that they have. So, you know, I just wish that young people are out there and uh, are getting inspired to, to give back to their communities in any way they can. Yeah. Yes. And for you, why was it so important to be part of Global Citizen happening in South Africa for the very first time? Well, I mean, Global Citizens have built quite a, a great uh, infrastructure and a brand for themselves uh, globally. Uh, and so we felt it was a great way to, to provide a launch pad for us to you know, show the people that it begins with 100 years, but it's about the next 100. You understand what I'm saying? And what are we doing for the next 100 years? For me, it's about making sure that we have young people in leadership positions, not just in corporate, but in government as well. I mean, you look at our country, you look at America, there are no young people in prominent positions. So we need to inspire young people to make sure that they can do what they can to get involved in civil uh, public service. Yes. And I think that that's definitely one of the ways that we can build the future and make sure that it's bright, not just for us, but for those to come after us. That's right. Yeah. That's so right. as 947, of course, we have the serious side of life, but we've also got the fun side of life. Uh -huh. So I am going to ask you, are you a bigger fan of Jay-Z or Beyonce? I mean, I'd, I'd have to go with Jay-Z. Jay-Z, all right. <laughs> so when Jay-Z gets up on stage, I want to see the dance move that you're going to pull out. Firstly, I'm going to give a big salute and go... Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I like it. I like it. I'm here for it. <laughs> That's exactly what we're looking for. Yeah. It's been such an incredible day. Can I ask just for one last memory of the day of the whole event? What are you taking away from Global Citizen Festival Mandela 100? Um, you know, seeing all these incredib incredible people from all over the world here today uh, shows us that as South Africa, as Africa, we are not insignificant. We are very much at the epicenter of the global conversation that needs to take place about development, about the future, about leadership, about how to empower each other. Um, so for me, it's really inspiring to see us running and doing our thing. You know what I mean? Uh, but more importantly for me, I'm all about young people. So I just hope that young people go out there and not say, okay, it was based in Beyonce, but okay, wow, I wanna, you know, there's something that bothered me in my community about that school. I want to go and talk to the headmaster and find out how I can help that school become better. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us, Naba. And we love that you guys continue your grandfather's legacy. And we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. You too.